What up, David here, with some more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Today, we are going to learn all about Lumpy, who got rich prospecting for oil in dry, dry ruins, or dry, dry desert, my correction. And we're gonna just hear his little story. Oh, Mario, how's it going? Did you come to read my journal? Yes, because today we want to learn about everything. As you can see, I did the first one, so we'll just pick up from there, and we'll read all seven parts. Part one, the night before. I'm finally off tomorrow. I filled my pack with cheese and I'm ready to go. My to-do list is crossed off. I owe so much to all my investors, not just money. The old get-rich-quick dream, but this is different. I have a reason. See, I owe it to my hometown. It's so cold there, people are constantly shivering. If I found oil and sent it there, then people can use it to heat their homes. Oil will make me rich and them happy. It seems to be the perfect goal, right? I've always always had this dream ever since I was very small. Of course, getting rich is a big part of it too, but who doesn't want money? Money, money! Cover me with it, please! <laughs> well, enough for tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's a little embarrassing. Read another? Yeah, it's kind of cool. So Lumpy does have some honest intentions here, but he, he also, he, he's a man who knows what he wants, and he's got the tenacity to find it, clearly. After all, we got 990 co 999 coins out of it. So, the buzzer fiend. Why did it have to turn out like this? I got to Toad Town by boat and then took a train to the foot of Mount Rugged. Unfortunately, you can only get to Mount Rugged to Dry Dry Desert on foot. And tragedy waited for me as I slogged faithfully up that winding trail. It was a huge, awful vulture. I had read about it in my travel brochures. This buzzer accosted all travelers on Mount Rugged. I hightailed it, but buzzer had me in his sights. I felt a piercing jolt as its claws dug deep into my backpack. After dropping me onto a cliff, buzzer seemed to forget me and disappear. I let out a sigh of relief, but when I touched my back, I noticed my pack was gone. My pack! And it was all my food and money to start the operation! No! That mangy buzzer made off with everything of importance to me! All I have left is this journal, a shovel, to dig for oil, and my life. But perhaps living is miracle enough, or so I'd like to believe. But now, I can't turn back. I climb down the mountain to the desert. The dry dry desert sprawls out before me, beckoning dreamers and fools. I am both and I set out with a heart full of dread. <laughs> yeah, it's a little embarrassing. That's crazy! He lost all of his money. I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong, it's probably good that he was able to afford to get to Toad Town and Mount Rugged, but he, he lost a lot of resources. That's, uh, but he, he got the tenacity, I'll, I'll give him that. And a lot of references to the first Paper Mario game here with Toad Town, Mount Rugged, and Buzzar, who's a mini-boss in that game. So, Chapter 3, A Helping Hand. I am now in a place called Dry Dry Outpost. Someone pulled me, lifeless and parched, from the merciless desert floor. It was a Koopa with a fine mustache named Colorado, an angel in a pith helmet. He was a world-traveling ar adventure archaeologist. I told him about Buzzar, and my quest for oil, and my dreams of riches and warmth for my people. After I spoke at length, he gave me food and water. I asked him why he should be so kind, and he looked into the distance and said, Turning one's back on an ambitious dreamer. Invites others to do the same to you, old boy. I just... I just want to believe in every dream this sad old world can muster. This guy, he still chases his own dreams, dusty dreams of archaeology. We stayed up all night discussing each other's dreams. It was great. <laughs> yeah, it's a little embarrassing. That's awesome! Colorado's an awesome dude, and it's cool that he went back to Dry Dry Desert to ex excavate for more ruins. Another guy who's crossed Mario's path before. Part 4, A Reliable Guide. I am now at a desert oasis. After Colorado left, I set out from Dry Dry Outpost to find my digging point. But the desert is so wide, it's impossible to find anything without a guide. I had no idea where I was going and my head was splitting in the heat. 
My throat was burning and scratchy. Was I awake? Was I asleep? I heard a voice calling to me from far away. Hey, are you a nice guy? If you're a nice guy, then give me something nice! I didn't have the food or water I received from Colorado. I had nothing. Why do you lie here? If you are a nice guy, give me a nice thing and I will help. I croaked. All I have is... All I have is my dream. When I next awoke, I was at this oasis. You're awake! I heard. There was a little mouser there in a gray headscarf. My name is Mustafa. You had nothing to give, but I got something nice anyway. I don't know how or why, but it seems I had been saved by yet another stranger. Do you need a guide? If there is somewhere you want to go, I will take you. Unbelievable, I actually found a reliable guide. Yeah. How's that one embarrassing? That's cool, Mustafa was the guy who knew all about the ruins, and I think he was descended from, like, ancient folks, which is why he knew so much. But that's cool, and he even says, back when he was posing as Sheik, I think that's what the name was, and you had to give him, like, a lemon or a lime or something like that. <laughs> but he said the same thing to Mario, if you're a nice guy, then give me something nice and I'll help you out, or whatever. So, part five, the digging point. We're here. I'm finally at the spot where I'm supposed to dig for oil. I was told to draw a line from a blue cactus to a cactus-like rock. I went north a precise distance from the exact termination point. I ended up here, at a point between dry dry ruins and the oasis. Mustafa had guided me this far with skill and bravery. He said, you are a nice guy, your dream will come true, Mustafa believes this. He left then, leaving me to fight this battle on my own. All I have to do is dig here until I find oil, that's all. I stocked up on lemons and limes at the oasis, so I should last a few days. I must find that oil! That's crazy! This man's living off of lemons and limes? <laughs> They're so tart! Both of them! Although I do- I did hear- I don't know if it's Italy or Japan? Someone, some culture out there, makes lemons that for some reason aren't sour. Like, I think it's Italy. You can just bite into them. Tell me what country that is, because I, I read about that. But who knows, maybe in this desert. I, I hope for his sake it's the same, but man, living off of citrus fruit. He won't get scurvy, that's for sure. And I believe the blue cactus you can find in the original Paper Mario in the desert, as well as the stone one. Nice touches. I should pinpoint where that is. That could be fun. Alright, part six. The long dig. I am digging for oil now. And my hand shakes as I write these, perhaps final, words. I've been digging from sun up to sundown, but s still no sign of that sweet crude. Maybe I've just picked a dry spot in this cursed spot in this cursed desert. I like to imagine <laughs> as his hand's shaking, he just... Writes the ellipses every time. But I'm sure this is where Merlovely told me to dig. Yes, I'm sure of it. Merlovely in Dry Dry Outpost or Merlovely in Rogueport Underground? I believe you could have equally have run into both. Who knows? There's no more food or water. And even my hopes uh, have dwindled to nothing. Uh, this is a, a dream dies here with me under these unforgiving skies. My dream. My. My. Wait, no, this is not it. My dream is of something else. Yes, some something else. Dig. Q. 
Keith. Dig. <laughs> He's like writing. <laughs> if I use this pickaxe with my left hand and continue to write in my journal with my right, I can do it. I can do it. I can strike oil. <sighs> I got it. I'll take a lemon from my bag and eat it. <laughs> I must keep digging. Arms move body work find oil. <laughs> It's a little embarrassing. Read another. All right. Part seven, the wrap up. I am now on a boat back to Deer Rogue Port. I did it. I finally struck oil in that dry desert. I have left the day-to-day -day operation to my men in the field and now return home. It all came true. Striking it rich, finding oil, my dream. But. Somewhere along the way, this became more than just my dream. So many people have helped to make this dream happen. So many. You had nothing to give, but I got something nice anyway. Ah, <sighs> dear Mustafa. I just want to believe in every dream this sad world can muster. Ah, uh, Colorado. People who lent me money, and gave me food, and showed me the way. So many hands reaching out to help me. I must do something for all of them. That feeling has pushed me even harder. I must share this feeling with the people that helped me as I struggled. I must share these words that have seared themselves into my heart. Dreams come true. Lumpy. Yeah, yeah it's a little embarrassing. Read another. I mean, no, I, I did it all. I see. <laughs> what do you mean you see? That was cool. That was awesome. So yeah, part I kind of want to do this project. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I kind of want to go through these stories and do like a little art project. Maybe I, I might do it comic book style or I might do it storybook style where I just draw scenes for each of these, but it's cool. And like, it's kind of like looking at Lumpy's story, it's cool to see like the optimism of going to the world of the original Paper Mario from Toad Town to Mount Rugged and dry dry everything optimistic and high off of these investments and then dealing with the adversity with buzzer and then s nearly dehydrating in the desert but then being you know helped with from colorado from mustafa getting help from her lovely and finding his digging point and it looked like he even hired some people to work the refinery and you know whatever he set up in the desert so it, it looks like good things are happening so I'm happy for Lumpy. I'll just be thinking about what to do next, so say hi anytime. This man could retire for all I know. 